Hi there, it's Cheryl again from Quali Student. Today I'm talking about Skype and how we use it on the Quali Student project. So we'll talk a little bit about the general info about Skype and then we'll get into how we use it on the project. I'm not going to show you a how-to guide on Skype because the pro product tends to change pretty quickly. It's also fairly inconsistent across platforms. So the best way to learn how to use Skype is to read about it on Skype.com or ask a friend or you know play with it for a little while. Um, but if you run into problems, you can call me and we can work through it together. It's just not consistent enough to rate a video. So Skype is a chat program that does instant messaging, phone calls, video calls, and screen share. You can also do large group chats and screen sharing and video calls with small groups. So how does this all work on the project? We use Skype on the project to keep in touch across our distributed teams. It's used more often than Google Hangouts at this point, but has some overlaps with that tool. So familiar with Google Hangouts, you'll be pretty familiar with Skype. A good place to start is the Skype chat for KS list. The chat list helps keep track of what Skype chats are out there, so you can be sure not to miss any of the important conversations you might need to join. It also keeps track of who has what role in the chats. Skype authorizations and permissions are somewhat cryptic, so we've tried to capture the main issues here. So. Let's go ahead and open up the page. As you can see, Skype chats tend to run the gamut. Team chats are used for team meetings and running commentary throughout the day. Center of Excellence chats and other like-like groups are cross-project groups that help people with like problems and roles share best practices and ask questions. Interest groups, like the Mac support group and the onboarding help, are similar to Centers of Excellence, but are more informal. We also have impromptu group chats not recorded here. Um, you have a question that needs to be answered swiftly by a handful of people, that's where you go to Skype. All right. One of our struggles with Skype on the project is that it makes everyone instantly available all of the time. While this is good to keep the ball rolling, it does tend to make every message seem like priority one, and then only so much noise. When possible, we're trying to isolate need to know right now questions to Skype and send everything else to email. Either way, you should be including a disclaimer with how quickly you need an answer. Is this a right now problem or a get to it in a week problem? That should be what you need to know to get started using Skype. Let me know as you have other questions. Thanks and have a great time onboarding.